So just about set now, pitching in our game today, Luis Castillo. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker in this lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in an at-bat. Righty to the plate. Lined, and that's a base hit. Everything came together for him. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Leody Tavares. Makes the grab one down. Seeger stands in now. That one is absolutely belted. And off the base of the wall. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Now, here is Adolis Garcia. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. Luis Castillo, a guy who debuted in 2017 with the Reds at 24 years old, multiple All-Star appearances, traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. You think about that triple-digit fastball, but the changeup is the thing that stands out. Yeah, and you could argue that he's got the best changeup in baseball. From the right side, it's like a Bugs Bunny pitch. and works so well off of his fastball. And Garcia is out, and there's two away. Now it's Marcus Simeon. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. On the ground to third. On to France. And Simeon is out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Rangers get. Welcome back. Starting on the mound in this one, Max Scherzer. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Josh Rojas swings through it for strike one. Out to center. Tavares settles under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. And up next for Seattle, Cade Marlowe. Now a slow roller to second. Fires over to first. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. This guy has turned into a beast. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Tavares settles under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. New inning getting started. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. The first base is Nathaniel Lowe. And a pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Gathers and throws to first. And a quick out number one. The third base is number Here's six. Josh Young. Josh Young. And first offering is fouled off. Castillo, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Bounce to the right side. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Yeah. 
Sam Haggerty coming into the game now as the injury replacement. Now playing second. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Up the middle, Crawford. Slings to first, and that is that. No runs, no. Back here at the ballpark, bottom half of inning number two. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. Swung on, belted. Tavares ranging back, turning and looking, and it's gone. That's got to feel good, and we are all tied up. It's 1-1. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, you waited for it. It was like BP all over again. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. Into center. Tavares settles under it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Sam Haggerty up next for the Mariners. On the ground right side, and it goes just foul. Down the line towards the corner. Garcia settles under it. He's got it. Two down. Here's Dylan Moore. <laughs> Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. So two down, and now the first baseman, Ty France. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. An absolutely majestic shot. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Swings here and blasts one left field back there. On the warning track, and hauls it in. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. On to the third inning. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Castillo back to work. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, and one away in the top of the third. The left line, third Back to the three. top of the lineup, Evan, Evan Carter stepping oh, in for the Rangers. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And a base hit into right. So a man aboard now with one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Next pitch inside. Two and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. And that one in the air center field. Rodriguez reaching back towards the wall. And forget it. 
a two run blast and we are tied it's 3-3 three, three. took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall I thought for a second he brought it back out there too he gave it a great effort but you know those plays are so tough to pull off and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it now it's Corey Seager ground ball right side and he handles oh. it himself for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter oh, fighting to the get there. Way. Just rolled over it. The got right the ground ball. Adolis. Adolis. And now the right Garcia. fielder, Adolis Garcia. In the air, center field. Rodriguez settles under it. He's there. He's got it. And that <laughs> is the third out of the inning. But two come across to score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Josh Rojas. The wind of the pitch. Hard ground ball for a base stop. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, cut out in front him. Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Runner at first, Cade Marlowe up next for the Mariners. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Go for one so far. In the air out towards right center. Garcia settles under it. And there's two down. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Rojas, off the first with two away. Next pitch misses inside, and it's 3-0. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Grounded to low. He takes it on his own. That ends the frame. Back at T-Mobile Park, and now it's going to be Marcus Simeon. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. New pitcher for the Mariners, Taylor Saucedo. Kicks and deals. Hammered down the line. Base hit. And that one's going to get into the corner. Run comes in from second. It's 4-3. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. What a way to get it going. A double to knock home the runner from second. Yeah, just clearly trading places. And now that guy on second threatening to score more runs. Good clutch hitting to lead off the frame. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Laced into left. That's a base hit. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now, Josh Young. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it's gone! He sends a rocket to left. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-3. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Now at the plate, Ezekiel Duran hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. 
This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So next to hit for Texas, Jonah Heim. Ripped to short. Slings it across. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Here's the left fielder, Evan Carter. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Ryan Stanek. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Check swing. He went. It's 0-1. And he hits a ground ball right side on to France. And there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. Leody Tavares, the next to hit, just missed. Sneaks through, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. He was all over that one. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Out towards right center field. Rodriguez heads towards it. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that back in Seattle, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, J.P. Crawford. The right-hander back to work. That one ripped. Garcia ranging back on it, and it's gone. He'll circle the bases, and they slice into the lead. It's 8-5. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it. Nice. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Cody Hoyer. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. Can't get there. Base hit. Not stopping. He's going for three. Throw cut off to third. Not in time. He's safe. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Came screaming off the bat. I'm sure exit velocity is off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. Well, these Mariners putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like. That's a laser base hit. In to score is the runner from third. And now just a two run deficit. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right... To second, there's wow. one. Adelo, it's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Ball game. Plenty of runs to go around in this one. Not a great day to be a pitcher. These hitters look like they were having a lot of fun. It's like they knew what was coming. Final score of 8-6 to six in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.